While changes in tuning will allow you to adjust your sound without changing your gear, choosing the appropriate drum heads will help get you to your desired sound even faster. With so many different drum heads available on the market today, it can be difficult to figure out what's going to be the best fit for your needs and your desired sound. Should you go with a single ply or double ply? Do you want a control ring around the outside, vent holes? Do you want to be mimicking more of a classic sound or more of a modern sound? Are you a heavy hitter or are you playing in more cafe-like scenarios where low volume and sensitivity is more important? All of these things should be taken into account when you're choosing the optimal drum heads for your snare sound. When it comes to the batter head, durability is one of the first things that people think of, and that's definitely important. We should be considering how heavily are we going to be playing this drum head? Do we need something that's going to be able to resist wear and tear over the course of a long period of time? Are you gonna be hitting it hard with large sticks? If you're playing with large sticks and you're swinging for the rafters, then yeah, you might wanna consider staying away from the typical single ply world. The majority of the episodes that we've done so far feature the Evans UV-1 as the drum head of choice. And this is really just because it's an incredibly versatile option and though it's a single ply drum head, it's still incredibly durable and works really well if you're going to be playing a wide variety of styles and if you're going to be hitting harder, if you might be playing a little bit softer, but you're going back and forth between all those different options. Aside from your playing style and the musical context in which you're going to be performing, whether you're playing with a band, whether you're playing with microphones on the drums, or maybe you're even just practicing for yourself. Maybe you're playing in a small apartment, maybe you're playing in a small practice room, or maybe you've got the luxury of playing in a recording studio on a regular basis. Durability is not the only thing that needs to be focused on when it comes to the choice of your batter head. Considering the drum that you're going to be using this head on is incredibly important. Are you using a drum that's more versatile, such as, for instance, this Ludwig Superphonic? Or are you looking for something that's more specific? Are you looking to have one tone, one sound coming specifically from that one drum, and that's always going to be your go-to drum for that sound? Generally speaking, if you're looking for a versatile sound and you're using a versatile drum, whether it be something like this Ludwig Superphonic, or just a standard 14 by five and a half inch maple drum, a very common offering out there right now. Using a single ply drum head, such as the Evans UV-1 or the G-1 or the Remo Ambassador is an excellent way to go. A single ply drum head is a great choice when it comes to versatility because you can play much softer and still have it respond to even the subtlest of playing. At the same time, you can really lay into it and there's really no noise ceiling there. It's all dependent on the space and of course the drum. If you happen to have a variety of drums to work with, or you're looking for just one specific sound out of that one drum, that's when you can start choosing slightly more modified drum heads that will allow you to achieve a specific sound without having to worry about additional muffling being added after the fact. There are all sorts of options out there for specific sounds that still have a degree of versatility to them, but it depends on what the changes are in their construction. If you're looking for a synthetic alternative to a natural calfskin drum head, or you find yourself often putting tape and other muffling devices on your drum head and you wanna go with something that has vent holes or an overtone control ring around the outside. Or maybe you're looking for a really fat tone, something that you can just tune low and have a fat sound out of it and not have to worry about placing additional muffling around the outside. And you might get a cool aesthetic out of it too. There are so many different options to choose from. What we can recommend is to experiment. All of the manufacturers offer great information on their websites when it comes to understanding where those drum heads exist on their tonal spectrum. Is it more on the dark range or is it a little bit brighter? Generally speaking, you'll be able to get an idea for the kind of sound that you're going to be able to get out of that drum head. At the end of the day though, nothing can replace experimenting with drum heads on your specific drum, in your room, because there are so many different factors that will come into play when it comes to achieving that specific sound that you're looking for. While your choice in batter head has a lot to do with the sound that you'll be able to achieve out of your drum, the snare side head also provides a lot of influence over the tone that you'll receive and the snare response. Snare side heads are a fraction of the thickness of the typical single ply batter head because they need to be able to respond to the transfer of energy from the batter head. What that means is when you strike the batter head, 
energy is transferred to the snare side head, moving the snare wires and creating the response that you would expect out of a snare drum. Generally speaking, a thicker batter head and heavier playing will typically mean going with a thicker snare side head in order to balance that transfer of energy. Most manufacturers offer a range of thicknesses, typically starting out at two mil or two one thousandths of an inch, all the way up to five mil or five one thousandths of an inch for thickness. Typically, you'll see these referred to as snare side or hazy two mil, three mil, and five mil. If you know that you're looking for a drum sound that's going to be more for sensitive situations, if you're playing lighter music or if you're playing in a smaller space where you want to be able to get the range of drum sound out of your snare drum but without really having to lay into it, a thinner head like the 2 mil will work incredibly well. This also means that you'll be able to get more snare response with lighter touch because there's less material to move. As you're transferring energy from that batter head upon the impact to your snare side head, there's less material that needs to be pushed away and at the same time come in contact with the snare wires to achieve that snare sound. At the same time, two mil heads, being as thin as they are, will stretch more and they will wear out sooner if you're going to tighten them up even more. So keep that in mind when it comes to replacing your snare side head and making sure that you're still getting the most sound out of the drum. If you're a heavy hitter or you're looking for a big, huge sound, you're playing large spaces and you're laying into that drum, a five mil head may be a better choice for you. Something that's going to control the sound of the drum a little bit more and is going to hold up for a longer period of time. If you're choosing to use a heavier two ply head and you're really laying into it, that's gonna transfer a lot of energy to the snare side head. Going with a five mil head on the snare side will provide greater durability and will help to balance that transfer of energy from the batter head to the snare side. At the end of the day, there's no substitution for experimenting. The best way to find the perfect drum head for your desired sound is to try different things out. Start with something that's versatile, experiment with it. Do you find yourself going through the drum head faster? Is it pitting out faster? Maybe you need something that's a little bit more durable. Do you find yourself applying muffling to control the tone of the drum? You may consider a drum head that already has that built in. Experiment with the drum heads that you're using on different drums in order to learn more about what they produce and how that affects your perception of the sound that you're achieving. As you experiment with different drum heads, don't forget to try different tunings. Look back at our previous videos for more information about specific tuning methods for the drum heads as well as the snare wires. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'd be happy to help you out any way that we can. If you're not already subscribed, click the red subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll make sure that you're always the first to see when we've released a new video for Sounds Like a Drum. Thanks so much and happy tuning.